Let's solve another question of what is average cost of capital. First, let me go through the question. The capital structure and the specific cost of capital of a company are given below. Source, equity share capital, retail earnings and long term debt. Three sources are available here. Book value for equity share it is rupees 20 lakhs. For retail earnings rupees 10 lakhs that is reservoir surplus. Long term debt 20 lakhs. Total comes to 50 lakhs rupees. And a specific cost percentage also available for equity share capital it is 18%, for retail earnings it is 18%, for long term debt it is 10%. The present market value of equity share is rupees 90, that is also very much indicated. Market value per share that is rupees 90 right now. Corporate tax rate is 40%. Right now the tax rate is also available that is 40%. Calculate. WSCC that is weighted average cost of capital applied book value as well and market value as well. Book value as well at first let me solve the question considering book value as well. After that I will solve considering market value as well. Let's start calculation of Weighted average cost of capital. In short, we can write WACC within bracket. You should mention over here taking book value. Taking book value as weight. Okay? Here we will solve WACC where we are taking or considering book value as weight. First column. Sources. What are the sources? Equity share capital. Equity share component is retail earnings. Third component, which is long term debt. Three specific components we should plot. Then we are going to plot over here book value. What value directly available to us? For equity share capital, it is rupees 20 lakhs. For retail earnings, it is 10 lakhs. And for long term debt, it is 20 lakhs. Total amount consider as rupees 50 lakhs. Total amount of capital is rupees 50 lakhs. Specific costs, but before plotting that cost, we should plot over here weight. How to calculate weight? That I have already been discussed in my previous class. That means total 50 lakhs you have to consider as 1. Now, how to calculate weight for equity share capital? As simple as that, out of 50 lakhs, the proportion of equity share capital is 20 lakhs. Then, 20 lakhs divided by 50 lakhs. You get the figure of 0.40. Similarly, in case of retail earnings, it is 10 lakhs divided by 50 lakhs, you are getting 0.20. In case of long term debt, also it is 20 lakhs divided by 50 lakhs, you are getting the proportion of weight which is again 0.40. Source, book value, weight we have counted. Finally, we are going to plot over here cost. In case of equity share, which is 18%, that means 0.18. In case of return earnings, also it is same, 0.18. In case of long term debt, it is 10%, 0.10. But there is a question of plotting that 0.10. Why? If you look at the question, specifically this line, corporate tax rate is 40%. As I told, in case of calculation of weighted average cost of capital, when we consider the cost percentage, it should be after tax. Tax regime is there. But in case of equity share capital, preferential capital, in fact, in case of retail earnings also, the tax rate basically doesn't apply. But remember, in case of 
debenture or in case of term loan, specifically in case of debt capital, you have to consider the specific tax rate and you have to make it after tax. That means you have to consider after tax cost of debt instrument or debt capital. Now you have to calculate here separately at first that KD cost of debt capital. How to calculate? I think you will remember the formula I within bracket 1 minus T. Okay? Is a note in a note you can consider the KD over here, I that is specific cost or interest rate that is mentioned over here 0 0.10 1 minus T. What is tax rate that is also mentioned over here 40%. 40% tax rate is mentioned 0 0.40. Then ultimately you are getting over here 0 0.06. Then your cost of debt capital is 0 0.06. 0 0.06. You have to remember specifically in case of debt capital, the cost of debt instrument is always be after. Now, finally, you have to multiply that weight into cost and you can calculate here weight cost. Weight cost. Okay, once you multiply these two columns, it results weight cost. 0 0.072, 0 0.072, 0 0.2 into 0 0.18, 0 0.036. 0.024. Now finally you have to sum up 0 0.13, 0 0.13. Now you write the answer, hence WSCC, weighted average cost of capital, taking book value, since it is mentioned over here specifically 0 0.132, or you can write 13.2%. 13.2%. Then here, the WACC or weighted average cost of capital, once we consider it as per book value, it results, it comes how much? 13.2%. Now, we are going to solve the same question considering market value instead of book value. What is the difference? between market value and book value. This line is very much indicative here. The present market value of equity share is mentioned over here which is 90 rupees. Whereas if you look at that, the book value per share is mentioned over here which is rupees 10. What is the thumb rule? You have to convert your equity capital at first from book value to market value. Then your first sources of instrument is of course same over here that is equity share. But we are going to plot over here a note where we can calculate market value of equity share. How to get the market value of equity share? Very simple. Your total amount of equity capital according to the book value is how much? 20 lakhs rupees. 20 lakhs rupees. Whereas your value per equity share is how much? Rupees 10. Then once you divide the 20 lakhs by 10, ultimately what is the denomination? It is basically 2 lakhs number of shares at a price of how much? Rupees 10, which is mentioned over here. But the tail right now is considering at rupees 90. Then it should be multiplied by rupees 90. Okay. So we are getting a figure of rupees 1 crore 80 lakhs instead of 20 lakhs rupees. In that we have to consider over here, instead of to plot over here, market value. And that value you got 1 crore and 80 lakhs rupees. Remember one more thing. The reserve and surplus we are not going to consider under market value method as it is a part of market value. 
we consider that is why we avoid reservations at plus in case of calculation of weighted average cost of capital under market value method now since we won't consider retained earnings or reservations at plus the item left that is long term debt our second item is long term debt and the amount is how much the amount is 20 lakhs let me plot over here 20 lakhs rupees as a long term debt now your total capital goes to 2 crore rupees now your total capital comes at 2 crore rupees let me plot over here as usual the weight how to get that that you know it is total you consider as 1 then in case of equity share it is 1 crore 80 lakhs divided by 2 crore rupees you are getting 0 0.90 and 20 lakhs divided by 2 crores you are getting 0 0.10 now that specific cost or you can write after tax cost also specific cost or after tax cost you can write over here after tax cost okay. in case of equity share capital it is mentioned already in the question 18 percent it is by default after tax and in case of long term debt which we calculate in previous part in the earlier part when we calculate according to the book value method of WCC that is 0 0.06 0 0.06 now we are going to multiply these two weight and cost column and we can calculate weight cost for equity share it is 0.09 into 0.18 0 0.162 for long term debt it is 0.10 into 0.06 0 0.16 0 0.16 into 0.16 you are getting a total of 0 0.168 hence Weighted average cost of capital taking market value 0 0.168 or 16.8%. According to that market value method, it is 16.8%.